Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. I've pretty much recovered from yesterday. And I'm feeling a lot better than I was this morning. Thought I'd give you guys a, a tour and an update of what's going on in these lower fields. Uh, things are coming, progressing along as normal. We're going to be harvesting that uh, last two rows of corn there in about a week. I just checked it. This is the first time I actually pulled any of the husks down and looked at it. It's really close, but I'm thinking another week and it'll be uh, just about perfect. The beans here are ending their cycle. Probably only got about a, another month here until these beans are done. But we have gotten a lot of beans off of these plants here. Maricel's kept the records. I don't know exactly how many kilos we've gotten, but it's a lot. This corn is about a month away from harvest. Everything here is continuing along. Uh, they need a drink, but we don't have water to irrigate with. So we're just going to hand water later today. Just give them a little sprinkle. The carrots are, well, we've got a row of carrots. They're growing. Uh, how well they produce, that's a, that's a whole nother story. The radishes as well are coming along. We're going to be hitting them, hitting everything down here with a uh, insecticide shortly. These tomatoes are, uh, being as it's not raining every day anymore, I kind of I think it's been a couple days since we got a light rain. Just a few tiny little sprinkles yesterday. Couldn't even really call it raining. But the lack of rain has uh, really helped our tomatoes down here to avoid uh, blight issues. You can see those plants there are just loaded with tomatoes. And I have given express instructions for the girls not to harvest these tomatoes, any of these tomatoes, until they begin to turn a little bit red, at least a little bit red. It's, it's the custom here to pick them when they're green. And, you know, we're selling by the kilo, not by each. And the longer they stay on these vines, the bigger they get. And the bigger they get, the more pesos we get. I, I also understand that they like to pick them green because it's the custom here because there's no refrigeration and uh, storage uh, shelf life is always an issue. So I'm kind of uh, splitting the difference with them rather than picking them marble sized and green uh, versus picking them uh, fully ripened uh, which is how I'm accustomed to do it in the in the West. Well, we're gonna we're gonna pick a happy medium and pick them just when they start uh, to turn. Uh, we need to get a little weeding done here around these onions. Uh, it doesn't take long for the weeds to catch up with you. These peppers are kind of you know they're wankering along but they have taken, so uh, we won't have to replant them. It's not looking like. And once they get established, then they're there. These onions here, probably in about two weeks, we're going to uh, thin these and uh, put them down here uh, in those next fields. I still can't find my shovel, so it's gone. So uh, that's why I haven't uh, been doing any more making furrows down there. But I'm just going to have to break down and use one of the extra back breaking shovels. And just, you know, I got to do it. I don't like using those really short handled shovels. Tata had made me that shovel special, he had extended the handle about a foot. 
and it was much less uh, it was much less of a pain on my back. But that shovel's gone, so I've got to use one of those extra short ones. The beans here are doing well. The, the posts have been put in. Some string has been put up. These beans are going great guns. The okra uh, is is nearing its end here. Uh, the corn uh, needs a drink and some fertilizer. The eggplant down there is really doing well. Uh, I'm hoping that I've got enough water in pond one to ear it. Today is uh, Tuesday. I'm hoping it's uh, full by Friday or Saturday so I can water again. Uh, that would be a week interval. A little, bit, uh, a little bit more of an interval than I wanted. Uh, but we don't have gas for the gas pump, so we're just relying on that uh, electric pump. And so it takes a bit longer. And we, when we were harvesting the fish yesterday, uh, because the nets were so hard to handle, we uh, drained a little bit of water from Pond 1 back into Pond 2, just so we would have something to mix the mud with that was caught in the nets. And so we lost about four inches of water out of pond one, which uh, is needed uh, for irrigation. Even though it's hot today and I'm still mostly wiped out from yesterday, I'm gonna go find that uh, next best shovel and make another couple rows because we have more uh, tomatoes that need to be planted. And regardless, those, those last two fields need to be completed doesn't matter what needs to be done needs to be done these melons here are well they're making vines the original ones anyway the ones that were thinned out some these that were transplanted melons like I said before melons just don't transplant well and so they basically haven't grown any and they won't now back in there those are doing a little bit better, but uh, these all need a good drink. And so <coughs> beginning about 3 o'clock, we're going to start <coughs> beginning about 3 o'clock, we're going to start uh, hand watering all this. <coughs> and we're going to do a little bit of fertilizing. Uh, that corn needs to be fertilized. The eggplant needs to be fertilized. Um, these melons here need to be fertilized. I'm going to wait a little bit on the carrots and just because they're so sensitive I don't want to maybe if I made a tea and that would help them out some just uh, by making a tea what I'm meaning is just soak the fertilizer for 28 48 hours and just use that water now there has been some weeding going on here tell but it's just uh, you know like I said a month ago this garden patch here is a full-time job for two people uh, plus and it's hard to keep up on this doing it all by hand and really by hand is the only way we can do it you can't really bring in a uh, you know maybe if you had one of those what well, I forget what they call them one of those little tiny little uh, hand cultivators but in this clay soil, you know, it would just bounce around and uh, be more of a detriment than it would. Uh, those work really well in, in really good loam, sandy loam soil. But in anything like this, nah, they're not heavy enough, so they just uh, they just make a lot of noise. So anyway, it's kind of an update on what we got going on down here. Harvesting a little bit of corn, the tomatoes. I would imagine another week and those will be uh, those will start to get uh, tomatoes off of those the beans come still producing and everything else down here is looking really good thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe